Oh, hello guys and welcome back. So today will be our next day for the JE Advanced 100 day question series. So guys, the question that you right now see on screen, this I found this question to be really interesting. Like a good question on your integration. So guys, if you want, you can try this question out, like a really good question on integration. And like I have mentioned the source of this question in the description as well, where I found it. So just take a look. So guys, if you want, you can try this question out before I solve it. You can pause the video. I will wait for a few seconds and then start off solving this question. Okay, so guys, I hope now it's time for us to solve this. So guys, you can see it. This is integral zero to pi sine x plus sine two x plus sine three x up till sine two zero two zero x. So up till sine two zero two zero x, everything was pretty good. But then this whole square thing came on the top and exponent power two, which is all over this expression. And that is why this question has become a bit difficult. So how to solve it? So first thing is I would rewrite this expression in terms of sigma. I hope you can understand because it's the basically if I write this as integral zero to pi, wait. Yeah, this will be integral zero to pi. And we can actually write this as sigma k equals to one to two zero two zero. Okay, and this will be sine kx and a whole square all over this dx. Okay, I hope no problems in writing it out like this. So guys, like this is the expression we have to find. So if we try to expand this a little bit, I guess this will actually become your a uh, sigma k equals to one to two zero two zero or wait, I will first of all write down only the breakage. This will be integral zero to pi. Like see, this is a sum of n terms squared. Okay. Like uh, it is, what can I say? X1 plus X2 plus X3 up till Xn square. So what will it contain? First thing, it will contain all the squared terms. Okay, the sum of all the squared terms, first thing. And second thing, it will contain the sum of all the terms taken two at a time, right? Like 2X1, X2, 2X2, X3, X3, X4, X5, X6, X4, X5 and whatnot. Like two terms taken at a time and their sum. So that's the complete overview and obviously a two will be multiplied to that. Okay. I hope you can understand this much. So this will be your sine squared kx because these are the square terms and obviously dx plus of this thing will become two and just note I am writing the sigma in a bit of creative way so that we can sum this up. This will be one less than equal to m less than n less than equal to 2020 okay and this will be integral 0 to pi and sin now actually what are m and n you will have a question so m and n will be basically included in the set of natural numbers okay like i can write it here m comma n belong to natural numbers and m comma n belong to 1 to 2 0 2 0 okay and this will be sine mx one term and another term sine nx with a dx okay yeah so i hope you have understood this much so guys proceeding further one thing that I'm going to do is I will pull this sigma out of the integral because it is integral is over x, right? So sigma right now doesn't have any role to play in this integral. So this will be sigma k equals to 1 to 2, 0, 2, 0. Integral 0 to pi. Sine square kx dx. Okay. And plus of your... This will remain as it is. Still, I'm writing it. Two times uh, sigma one less than equal to m less than n less than two. Sorry, not less than less than equal to two zero two zero. 
integral 0 to pi and here actually the sigma is already outside sin mx sin nx dx okay so guys uh, right now what we will do is i am taking this integral as i1 and this particular integral as i2 and then we will solve off what is coming okay let's solve this off individually so i will change the screen and solve these two integrals okay so first integral that we have is i1 which is equal to your integral 0 to pi and this thing was the sine square kx dx okay so guys i hope there will be no problem at all to solve this simply this will be half integral 0 to pi and like 2 sine square kx so 1 minus cos 2 kx okay dx yeah so now like if you integrate this actually i am not doing the integration this is pretty simple if you integrate this particular expression this part will yield to be pi so you will actually get this as pi by 2 okay okay so next is i2 and your i2 is equal to your integral 0 to pi sin mx sin nx dx okay uh, now actually this particular integration here this can be expressed in two forms kind of okay like one form will be when m is equal to n and another form will be when m is not equal to n but will actually require m not equals to n case here but still i will tell you both the forms okay so guys first thing is we have to convert this into something so that we can integrate it so let's take a half and multiply 2 inside so integral 0 to pi 2 sin mx sin nx dx like the integration is not very difficult pretty simple so this is actually the product of two signs so we can write it as sum of like not sum product of two signs so difference of two cosines which means integral 0 to pi first term will be your cos of m minus nx second term will be your cos of m plus nx dx okay so if we right now go into evaluating this this will actually become half let's split it up into two separate integrals so integral 0 to pi cosine m minus n times x dx minus of half integral 0 to pi cosine of m plus n x dx okay so like we could have taken it in the same integral also but anyways like this will be actually multiplied by half and what you will get is you will get inside sign i am like putting the limits and telling you the direct value itself okay this will come out to be sine of m, m minus n like sine of m minus nx by sine not sine i'm sorry sine of m minus nx by m minus n minus sine of m plus n into x by m plus n so if we put 0 to pi this will be sine m minus n times pi minus sine 0 divided by m minus n and this will be minus of your sine m plus n times pi minus of sine 0 by m plus n okay so kind of you can see here uh, writing all of this was waste of time because this is sine multiple of pi sine 0 so everywhere everything goes to 0 okay so now actually you can see that this 0 has come but this 0 is actually for m not equals to n okay so i am writing the cases i2 is actually equal to 0 when m is not equal to n but when m becomes equal to n it becomes equal to pi by 2 okay now why 
So basically, if I show you this expression once again, then you will see if m becomes equal to n here, then in that particular case, it would actually become this. Okay. If m becomes equal to n, then it would actually become this particular expression in place of k, you would have either m or n. Okay. So actually it would come out to be pi by 2. Like really related both of them are. Okay. So I hope you understood this. So guys, i2 has come out to be 0. So I hope i is now equal to sigma k equals to 1 to 2, 0, 2, 0, pi by 2. So if we kind of evaluate this, this would actually become pi by 2 times 2, 0, 2, 0. Okay. So this becomes 1, 0, 1, 0, pi. This will be the final answer to your question. Okay, so that's it for today guys, like a little bit of easy question sometimes also, like this was not easy, I would say, but yeah, not very difficult too. Like if you have learned your integration well, you can easily solve this question. Okay, so let's stay till here right now with a little bit of easy question. I will come back soon with tougher questions. Okay. So I hope this will be the end of today's video guys. If you have liked my channel, do like, share and subscribe. Any doubts, recommendations, anything, just come to the comment section or you can DM me on my telegram also. And one more small announcement guys. I like was receiving many requests that I should make one shots. So maybe chapter wise one shots will come soon, but I need to get some time like for the people who requested. I will take some time, maybe a month and don't worry, this will come pretty well before your JE mains. You will have ample time before your JE mains to watch all of that and also well before your JE advance. Like I need some time, but I will try to bring out chapter wise one shots very soon. Okay. Anyways, let's see. So that's the end for this video guys. Let's keep it till here and thanks for watching.